Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I'm going to make chicken and puff pastry as an appetizer for what I hope will be a great Mahjong event. I have some chicken tenderloins that I have rinsed and cleaned, and I'm just going to season them the way I like to. You can season it however you want, but I like savory, so I'm going to use Herbs de Provence. And I looked it up because I wanted to know what was in here on the um, ingredients. It says spices and lavender, but I wanted to know what the spices were. So I looked it up. It is thyme and marjoram, summer savory, which I'm going to have to look that up too. Then we have rosemary and mint and fennel seeds. And then there's dried sage and lavender. This is one of my favorite spice blends. And then I have some garlic, salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. So I'm just gonna season this chicken, and then I'm gonna cook it in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes or just until it's done. So here we go. And when I do this, I like to put it in my hand like so, and then I just kind of grind it in my hand. And it, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then I like to cut my hands and smell. Oh my goodness, they should make a perfume out of Herbs de Provence. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, then I'm just gonna drizzle it with olive oil. and then I will mix it. Just so that everything is coated. So once everything has been coated in the olive oil and whatever herbs you decide to use, I think I might, um, Turn some to the side to give a little more room for cooking. There we go. That's probably better. You don't want to crowd them too much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. While the chicken is cooking, I just want to let you know what the rest of the recipe is going to entail. I have some puff pastry that I'm going to cut into squares to fit in this mini muffin tin. I'm going to spray the mini muffin tin first though with a little bit of pan so nothing sticks. When the chicken is ready, I'm going to shred it and then dice it and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of cream cheese and that will be the filling. We'll fill the, the uh, puff pastry and then we'll bake it according to the package directions. So these package directions, let's see, it says prep 20 minutes, bake 15 minutes. So once we stuff, put the stuffing or the filling in, we'll bake it for 15 minutes at 400 degrees and it will be ready to taste. And it's going to be good. I can tell you right now, mainly because of this. Herbs de Provence smells so good and it tastes delish. Okay, so we'll just wait now for the chicken to cook. Seventeen more minutes. I guess I'll be back in 17 more minutes. Okay, so I'm thinking we have 12 here. It's actually um, just about the size of this. So I think we should cut it to fit. I'm gonna spray this first right, now. Let's um, kind of size this up. 
So I'm thinking we'll cut it like that. Maybe a little bit more here, right about there. And then we want to cut it about like that. Okay, so we'll go three, three this way and four this way. to form a cup kind of on, on the bottom. So I want to tuck them in. Hey, it's already kind of cut into thirds here. We should just follow that. do Well, that's not too bad. So we're just gonna kind of pull it apart and you can see there's kind of lines there. I just follow that and just peel it. This is gonna take a little while so I'm gonna speed this up. We'll mix this and then taste it again and see if it needs more of the spices. So I'm just going to see if one scoop is enough. I think one scoop is perfect. You know, I'm just thinking, hmm. I think a cookie scoop is a good portion. Just your standard cookie scoop. Hopefully I'll have enough to fill each cup. Okay, so there's the first one. I'm just gonna kind of bring these in a little bit. Just so they form a little bit of a cup instead of being splayed out. I'm just gonna pinch the corners in. I think they'll be maybe easier to eat this way. And when they cook, they may spread out again. I don't know. 
I'm kind of new to puff pastry, but I love working with it and it is so good. And I love how the pastry is flaky and light. I'm going to do a light egg wash on it. Okay, just a little egg wash on each one. That'll just help with browning a little bit, I think. Okay, I think that's pretty good. There it is. We're gonna go in the oven now. They just came out of the oven and they smell amazing and they look beautiful. Let's see if I can lift it. Here we go. They are gorgeous and they smell really good. So I'm going to let them cool and then we'll have a taste. Beautiful. Mmm. I think we can take them out and put them on the plate. Oh, look at that. Oh, they smell so good. It smells like a bakery in here. Oh yeah, this is a really nice snack. It's just beautiful. Wouldn't you be happy to serve that to your friends? Hmm. Scrumptious. I think it's a little too hot to taste still. Okay, I think it's okay to taste. Beautiful. Okay, I know it's going to be flaky, so definitely napkins. I'm going to have a taste now. Hot. Mmm. See the steam is hot. But it is scrumptious. Mmm. And it's just the right amount of cream cheese. You really can't even taste it. It just has a, a light, creamy texture, but you can't even taste the cream cheese per se. You taste the, pa the puff pastry and the chicken. Not so much the cream cheese though, but it is just flaky and delicious. It's more than a bite though. So I think either you know, a plate with forks or napkins. It's definitely more of a three bite snack. Mm hmm. It's really good. I would definitely serve this at a Mahjong event. Absolutely. And I think it would be great at room temperature also. So I think it would be okay on the counter for several hours. 
It is absolutely delicious. I forgot to get a napkin. I think this is a really nice recipe. I would encourage you to try it yourself. I'll leave the recipe below. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any recipes that might be good for your Mahjong event. Between now and the next Mahjong Nash and such, may all your picks be keepers.